Good evening everyone and welcome to another Mac Merlin stream. Tonight we are doing some programming and as you can see from the channel description down below, you'll notice that we are doing a very popular keyboard, the TGR Jane V2CE. But before that, welcome everyone. Let's see, I see a 2-1, Jamie writes code, CH9, Alejo1707, JSZA99, and Gantz 9K. Thank you guys for joining in. And as usual, as usual, let's start off with what is Merlin drinking tonight? For those of you new to, to the channel, this particular segment is called Porting with Ports, in which I take a board, not in QMK or VIA, and I port it over while I drink some port. So today's port is probably the cheapest port I have ever purchased. From the gross from the grocery store, this one's three ninety nine. After um after a discount, normally it's five ninety nine. So super cheap, super super cheap. Normally I buy ports around the fifteen to, well I think the most expensive one I've bought is forty. But yeah, today today's cheap cheap wine. <laughs> Let's see. Um, my first. My first sip of it last week or so, I was like, okay, it's not, it, it, it really does taste like cheap wine, <laughs> unfortunately, but you know, the more you drink it, the more you don't care, because you're like, oh, it suddenly tastes good, suddenly tastes good, it doesn't matter anymore, <laughs> right? <laughs> CH9 says, I'm guessing it wasn't terrible, oh yeah, for sure, for sure, <laughs> let's see. Yeah, taste as mundane as I remember it to be, I guess. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, another thing you guys may notice different. Um, I've been experimenting with the different microphone positions. Um, Sunday night, I had it directly in front of me up here, but people were complaining that it wasn't as good sounding as my previous location. So I'm trying it a little slanted to the left over here. I guess you guys can't see it from the little picture in picture, but you can see it here. It's like, it's, it's this right here. It used to be coming out right here, but now I've maintained that it's still within like five, six inches of my mouth. So it should still be good. Should still be good. Let's see, are ports soft on the tongue? They are very sweet. So if you are unaccustomed to drinking wine, but you're accustomed to drinking juice, this might be a good starting one for you. <laughs> See that? <laughs> so yeah, that's what we'll be doing today. So yeah, um, specifically, what are we porting today? Let me, let me pull something up first before I do that. Let's talk about the board, the TGR Jane V2. There we go. This guy right here. This is You'll occasionally see TGR Janes going on mech market for several thousand dollars, you know, but despite that, they still use quite an old PCB design, boot map for client, running an Atmega 32A, all that stuff. Um, PCBs are made in Korea, if I'm not mistaken, but good thing there are people like Heine who actually remake the PCB to a native QMK compatible one that uses AVR. Um, I'd still love to see one that uses a ARM microchip, but for now we're stuck with a boot mapper client version. But tonight, tonight we will change that. We will change that. You will no longer have to use boot mapper client. Um, so I've heard through the grapevine that you can actually get the existing QMK and VIA support working on this board, right? So the existing VIA support or the existing QMK and VIA was, was written by me quite some time ago and it's confirmed working. But I'd like to start off the stream by flashing this onto my PCB and just seeing how much is broken, how much I actually need to fix. Because my theory, my theory, is that the only thing I need to change is if you guys look at the top here, there is an additional key there on the function row. I think it's the F13. My theory is that that, that is the only key that I need to add. 
And the reason why I know that is because I have a TGR Jane myself. Not the CE, but definitely the V2 right here. This is courtesy of TGR himself, of, of like Uxie, I guess. Sent it to me when I did the original port. So yeah, this guy's running, uh, what do I have on this? Oh yeah, these are Gateron Linears with the GMK Nautilus. that very beautiful board all right let's see what's Zark saying here Zark says via is better than QMK when in fact they're effectively the same thing via is the GUI QMK is the firmware you know it's I would liken it to saying, um, let's see, if you were on a Windows platform, it, it, it would be similar to saying using Edge is better than Windows. All right, so anyway. Uh, special thanks to Timmy for sending me this PCB. He actually reached out to me, I think, three weeks ago at this point saying, Merlin, can you port this into QMK? And I'm like, sure. Um, am I am I going to get, like, hardware of some sort so I can test out that my code work? He's like, sure, let me send it to you. So I just picked this up a few days ago. So here we go. Let's get it out. There we go. There we go. Courtesy of Timmy. He's actually a person I met over Discord on the Top Clack channel. So special thanks to him. Without him, what I'm doing tonight would not be possible. So thank you, Timmy. Thank you, Timmy, for volunteering your board. Do keep in mind that even though I have done this many, many times in the past, you know, I'm, I'm not perfect. I do mess up from time to time, so do so. Thank you so much for risking your board's life. Though actually, he he's he's not really risking it because from what I hear, he already has a Heine PCB and will be building it with a Heine PCB. <laughs> Why do you want a Heine PCB over this? Um, as I said earlier, this is an old design using a boot mapper client. Heine's PCBs at least have certain protections such as ESD or overcurrent protection on it. So it is, it is the much better choice, especially for a board that, what, I think the last time I saw Jane on Mech Market, it was like two, three thousand maybe? <laughs> yeah, this is it. This is the PCB. So we're going to start off by flashing the existing code onto this and testing out what changed. Um, you can see that this is in fact a different PCB. It's even labeled differently. This is the TGR Pontoporia CE V1.2. Whereas if you look at the existing code, I specifically call out that the hardware only supports the Pontoporia PCBs version 1.1 and 1.2. So yeah, let's see. Let's see what happens here. Let's go flash it. Let's go flash it. This is where I need a There you go, there's a mini B cable. Do I have the other end plugged in? Do I have the other end plugged in? I don't, so let me, let me see. Where's the other end of the cable? So many cables on my desk. <laughs> so many cables on my desk here. Let me just organize a bit here. Yeah, I guess I just have to wait for it to run its course. That's the thing. But, you know, there are there are ways to do this. There are ways to, ways to do this so we get some kind of uh what do you call this? Uh progress. Ah, okay. That's what you suggest. Let's try that. 
Let's try that. Okay. Hello Chill says, what camera do you use as your top down? You can find out my camera usage by doing exclamation point camera. There we go. It looks like Listen Up Phones did it. But yeah, this is the 6300. This is actually my first camera. You know, the first camera that I used for a lot of my videos. And this guy in front of me was something I picked up at a discount store of sorts. <laughs> Listen up phone says that's probably out there. No, it is um it's very much updated. <laughs> oh there we go. QMK Doctor is no longer complaining about stuff. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Thank you, Zark. Let's see if we can even build a key map now. Yeah, the latest change that I did was upgrade the lens on this camera right here. This um, uh, I I used to have the the Sony kit lens on it. Now now it's a 16 millimeter prime, which is what's posted there actually. And it looks like the firmware built fine. Perfect. Okay, there it goes. Let's. Let's flash this board. Let's flash this board and see what happens. Trying to set up a top down as I'm getting into customizing boards, I have two Canon DSLRs. That should be sufficient. Like, the reason why I went with Sony is because they are very small, compact, and light. So when I put them on my uh, 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 mic stand here of here of here of here, fall over, all over, all over, all over. It just flashed. Looks like it just flashed. Okay. Uh. Whew. Kind of scary, but here. I'm gonna bring up Via. There we go. We got Via right now. It is currently detecting my NK65, so if I plug this in, it should register as a regular TGR Jane. And indeed it does. What the heck? Did you guys see that? It like detected and didn't detect, it detected and didn't detect. What in the world? Let's try that again. That's weird. There we go, it detected it. And then it didn't detect it, what? <laughs> what? What in the world? What in the world is happening? Something is very odd here. Yeah, yeah, I I don't know. There is something going on. Something going on with the PCB. Okay. Um, I'm going to close via and see if that works out. Let me know. Let me know what's happening, guys. Here, let's try it. There. Let me know if anything happens when once I plug it in without via. You guys notice anything weird? I just plugged it in with that via. So that means, that means I'm limited to testing it out. Yeah, I think it's uh, something with via. Something with via, but here, that means I'm limited to testing it out on QMK configurator. So here, let's just do that really quick. QMK configurator, test keyboard input. Yeah, that was very weird. Oh, I've, ne I've, I've never seen that happening. 
Never seen that happen. Basically, once I plugged this board into Via, I dropped frames. So I think it's because Via was trying to do something, but who knows. I can hear my cat at the door. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's uh, let's go test this out. Let's see what happens. Can this detect the board? Nope. Interesting. Cheese lover says, anyone know how to get a board on Via? In their docs, they see how to set up the Via file, but how to get the board added to the Via repo? Cheese lover, you are in in luck. Basically, this entire Tuesday segment, along with the. 50 others that precede it show you how to do the exact process. So if you want to stay tuned for the next hour or so, I'll show how it's done, or you can watch previous videos to see how it's done. But right now, as you guys can see, this board is not responding at all. Okay. With that said, what I'm actually going to do is flash the default firmware because obviously something's going on with VIA. Something, something weird. What that weird thing is, I have no clue. But here we go. I'm flashing it with just default, so it doesn't have VIA enabled whatsoever. There is something with that PCB. So the best thing I can do right now, the best thing I can do right now is actually to, um, to use a multimeter and like check it out, right? I can check it out using a multimeter and verify whether or not the traces are are identical, but there's but but it seems like there's no way I can flash whatever I've made onto it. So let's see, it's 8:30 p.m. We've been at this for an hour. Um, here, let's just let's let's just do something here. Just do something here. We'll see, we'll see. Um, 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 um. Multimeter, where are you? Let's grab you. Here. We can, we can do this. I'll actually still bring up via and pull up pull up a switch matrix. Here we go. So this is what I'll do just to make it easier for me. I'll I'll figure out what's what's happening here. Okay, so based on this switch matrix that I'm seeing right now, um, the escape row, the escape column, should match up. I'll go check that the columns are, 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 are the same first. not in beeping mode that's why there we go ah okay well 
Okay. That's actually consistent with what the TGR Jane was. So let's, let's try this next one. Yeah, that's, that's consistent. Okay. The rows are still consistent. So what, what I've been told seems to be holding true so far. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yep, yep. The rows are the same, so let's go look at the columns. All right, that first column is the same. Second column is identical. So e even at this point, the fact that I'm not registering any of those columns or any of those rows is further proof that the PCB is borked. Yeah, cause here, okay, this is just to, just cause I am, just wanna cover all, all my bags here, let's see. Just look this up really quick. Yeah, it's um okay, so there 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 is a chance that um going from the original firmware to the QMK firmware, somehow the process got corrupted. There 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 is indeed that chance, but it's very unlikely, like super unlikely. You know, like I'd say your chances of of winning a key call two twice in a row is is higher. <laughs> Here, let me just do my due diligence and verify. Verify what I'm saying first before I continue. Right there, let's uh, Frostfire says, Damn it, you see, I waited two years and you sent me a borked PCB. Uh, believe it or not, stuff like this happens, right? Stuff like this unfortunately happens. So, let's see, that first row is connected to. The fifth pin, which is one, two, three, f one, two, three, four, five, which is pin B zero. Comparing that with the original Jane firmware, the first row is B zero. Okay, um, let's keep going here. That's B one, B two, or B three, I mean. Oh, that's B3 and uh, yeah, I, I, I was right with the B2. And this one should be B1 and the, uh, or B4, sorry. And the next one should be B5. Yep, 
All right, so the rows are definitely identical. Definitely identical with the TGR Jane. enough to do this four okay so that's one two three four a zero yeah it's correct it's correct there is no reason why it should have failed absolutely no reason why and while I'm at it, I'm going to just check out that, that F13 key. I believe that is the only key that's different. So let me just... That is pin B6. Okay. Let me just write this down in my notes really quick. But don't forget. B6. And. Okay, just to double check for sure. Pin B6 and C5. So that's 6, 6A. 6A. Let's look at the original configuration. Or, sorry, the original H file. 6A. Yep. Okay. That works. That works. Okay. It is a one line change to get it supported. That's what it is. But then the unfortunate fact is I can't, I can't test it. Like based on my multimeter, based on my multimeter, based on my viewing of the code, I am very confident that it is just a one line change to get the regular Jane PCB or the, the regular Jane firmware to work on this board, but just can't change it. Um, here, let's see. Let me, gosh, let's see. Let me look around a little bit. See, far from here says we flash it with QMK. Oh, it's already flashed with QMK. That's that's the thing. What about the solder joints on the USB port itself? Good question. Um, they look fine to me. No issues there. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, I, I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know. I think this is a, and this is a Borg PCB. Like I can, I can definitely flash it. I just can't. 
use it. <laughs> mm, let me take a moment to think here. Um... Maybe if I change my compiler, that might change things. Let's let's go change my compiler. Long shot, but worth the shot, right? Just never know what's going to happen. How do I... Let's see. Let's see, I'm currently using... AVR GCC 9.3.0, but QMK does recommend 8. I guess I could downgrade to 8 and see what happens there, but I, I've been flashing boards with 9.3.0 for a while now, and nothing's changed. Nothing's changed, so maybe, maybe something to do with the boot mapper client. Let's try, let's try. Here, let's see, what, what's the command for brew here? Brew list versions, ABR GCC. Oh, looks like I only have 9.3 installed. Um. Try downgrading. CH9 says Gold Rush looks super nice. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I hope to get it running soon. Just, um, it's been a while. <laughs> I'm just doing some some research here. You guys don't see what I'm doing just because you guys probably don't don't want to see me going through. Is it just a normal former? Do you want a different one to throw on? Um, Zark, I just I just compiled using AVR GCC 9.3.0. I put default on it and it failed. But yet, based on my multimeter testing, the default firmware should absolutely work. So, oh yeah, Zark, if you if you wouldn't mind, if you have a 8.x compiler of, of sorts, um, I'd appreciate if you made me a firmware file of the original TGR Jane. Mr. Chinaman says, when to, when to get a desk mat that size? When to get a desk mat? Um, whenever you want, I guess. Um... Personally, I think I started doing it just because everyone was doing it. And plus, it, it like protected the bottom of my PCBs, right? Uh, Mr. Chinaman says, where? Where? Um, most, most, most vendors who sell custom key sets will, will have them. Zarxas has pre-built. Oh, perfect. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let me. I want. I want the Jane. Ooh, perfect. Thank you. All right. I shall flash this file. Okay. Let's try this. Let's try this. And can you confirm that your um, compiler is of the 8.x variant? instead of the 9.3, such as myself. Mm. 
Like, if you can't find any on, like, custom vendors and stuff, there's also, like, I feel like you can buy it from, like, Cooler Master and, uh, Corsair and stuff like that. This build was the same version that comes in a Docker container and matches what's used. Oh, perfect. Great. Okay. I should really use Docker a lot more. Oh, okay. You know what just happened? Here, let's see if I can show you guys what's happening here. I just reset this board, right? I just reset this board and I used QMK Toolbox. What's happening in QMK Toolbox is I am I am cycling between reset and non-reset, reset and non-reset, reset and non and non-reset. That that pretty much confirms that this board is bored. This board is borked. Frostfire. Um, your board is borked. There's something very wrong with it. Um, might be fixable if we flashed a... If we reflash the bootloader. You know, but... It's... It's weird. It's just... It's... Let's see. Listen up phones and Merlin shot in the dark. You do you use toolbox to, Yep, yep, for sure. Yeah, it, it's so weird. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to try a different port here. Maybe a different port. Sometimes ports can affect these things, right? Let's try again. Am I sure? Yes, I'm sure. Listen up, phones. Um, I'm actually one of the QMK collaborators. <laughs> I think I'd have to uh, relinquish my position if if I couldn't remember that after after making tutorial several tutorials about it. <laughs> yeah, let's try this. Yep, even with that new port, it's cycling back and forth. Here, let's see if I can sh show you guys what I'm seeing. Here, 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 here we go, here we go. That's it, that's what I'm seeing. See, look, and I, I literally didn't do anything else. It's just... Like, I, I don't know what to do here. I, I think this, this really requires having it reflashed. Like, ha having the bootloader reflashed, that's probably, that, that, this is the only thing I can think of doing. I'm like, what is going on? Uh, here, let me clear off the the VIA and the QMK toolbox. There we go. It looking nice is the reason why I wanted to use the PCB, otherwise had full intent to use the Heine. Yeah, it's... Yeah, I'm... I'm sorry, man. There's not really much I can do here. But at least, at the very least, I was able to figure out what that key is connected to. See, I know exactly what that key is connected to, so in reality, what I would need to do is... Basically, okay, so what I'm looking at here is the H file for, for the Jane. So in reality, I'd probably copy this into a new directory called Jane v 2 ce because, you know, it is a completely different PCB, and I would inject let's see I would inject right before the 0d I would put in a 6d 
right there. Or sorry, not not a 60, a 6A. That would be the change. A 6A in each one of these, and I would do a corresponding change for QMK configurator, then I'd do a corresponding change in VIA. So literally just injecting two characters in. But yeah. Gliss says, I think I had the same problem with my Jane PZB. Oh no. Man, I just I just really sympathize with people who, who got a Jane only to find that it doesn't work. So, dude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. Honestly, the V2 PCB had issues too. Really? Okay. I have been very happy with um the Heine one, so I you know as 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 much as I love Yuxi and the work that he does, um these these PCBs need need to be better. You know? Right? Yeah, it's... I, I am glad that he's transitioning away from them, but... Man, that sucks. Frostfire says, yeah, when I started LEDs and turned them on, it cost the board to constantly reset. Oh my gosh, yeah. Okay, okay then. Okay then. Well, uh, you know what? It's nine o'clock. It's it's still relatively early, and since the change is so simple, I can I can probably do it really quick, and then I'll file. I I, I just can't test it. That's the thing. So I can't click on the checkbox that I tested it. So give me give me a moment here. I'm gonna I'm just gonna make a new branch, make a few changes really quick. Let's see, Frostfire said, honestly he needs to sell it without the PCBs and save me $50. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, I could see that being a thing. I could definitely see that being a thing. Okay. Well, um... All right, here we go. Let me just... Get my... Get my windows in order here. Okay, so here I am in the TGR directory in QMK firmware and I'm gonna make the code. And quite honestly, um, I think the way to do this is to create a V2 directory in the V2CE directory. So... Um, Frostfire says, is there any way to get the boot mapper back on it? Yes. Okay, so this is this is the beauty of, of like boot mapper, which is why I was so sold on it in the beginning of my mechanical keyboard journey. It is one firmware to rule them all. Right? You flash one single firmware, like you don't need to be like, what PCB do I have? Okay, let me go on QMK configurator, click the drop down and sort through a thousand boards, you know? Like you don't need to do that. Like it's just one firmware fits 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 everything right so that's one reason why i i really like bootmapper client but here let's see let me create a new directory here, let me just copy the jane directory first and then we'll Rename V2CE. There we go. So now we have a V2CE in there. Just have to rename a few files so it works out. V2CE, V2CE.
Read me Jane V2C. Earth Soldier says, Do you guys hear notes on the stream? I thought my speakers were, were buzzing. Um, maybe, maybe. Things have changed a little bit here. Yeah. Frostfire says, I do. Okay. I'll have to check out what's happening there. In my efforts to clean up some 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 clutter here, I think I may have inadvertently introduced some noise. Hopefully I can clean that up in post, but we'll see. We will see what happens. So V2C, not V2C3. That's something else. Okay. So the biggest change we need to do is introduce a K6A before the K0D. So that's just K6A up there. Why do I know it's K6A? Because I know what the pins are and I just remember that to be K6A, like so. I'm just enabling the K6A. Here, let's see. Um, there we go. There we go. K6A, K6A, K6A. Just make sure I got everything good here. TGR Jane slash V2CE default. Just start off with that. Error. Okay, yes, it's it's there's an error because even though I introduced one additional key, I didn't actually fix up the key maps. Oh, that's that's why. Um, let's call it. Does QMK have an F13? Does QMK have an F13? Is that a legit key code? I feel like it's not. Uh, no, wait. There is one. There's an extra FN keys. It's F13. It's KCF13. Okay. Let's just add that. Let's do it. KCF13. Up to 24. Nice. Okay. So if anyone knows, what, what is F13 used for? I've never actually used it. There you go. Let's, let's compile. Is this your personal Jane? No, it is not. It is not my personal Jane. This is a customer's Jane. And looks like we have errors here. LED init. What's going on with the LED init? You know what? Let me just clean things up a bit first before I... There we go. Let's just take... All that good stuff. Oh wait, hold on. There we go. Yeah, 
B2. Let's put it all in. There we go. That looks much better. It's not used normally, says Droshna, the the F thirteen. I think on the original one that he on the on the original original key map, it was simply numlock. All right, there we go. We now have a Jane V two C E firmware file for QMK. Perfect. It works out just fine. Um, we will need to do a corresponding change in VIA. So let me just do that in VIA. Does VIA have an F13? Here, let me just check really quick. Like, I I would assume yes, since VIA, VIA is QMK. VIA is QMK, uses QMK key codes, but I'm, I'm just curious. I'm just curious. Does VIA have a F13 key code listed anywhere? Looks like they only go up to F12 for the basic. How about for media, macro, layers, special? There you go, F13 is under the special tab. Perfect, okay. That's fine. Just Jordan, 100 bits, thank you, thank you so much. Let's see, okay. Let's do, let's add that F13 as well. KC F13, no problem. KCF13. And with this, we should have a VIA key map of sorts. Just double check. Uh, what's this? Eighty eight arguments, but only Oh, that's because I I edited the V two key map. That's not the way that's supposed to be. Darn it. There we go. It's not the V2 key map that I need to edit. It's the V2CE key map. Annoying. All right. Definitely feeling the alcohol start to hit. <laughs> but not not enough to hamper any coding. But one could argue that what I'm doing right now is not actual coding, but simply manipulation of spaces. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. That should work. Come on. And it is built. Perfect. Okay. Um, thing, next thing I need to do is actually change the config. Alright, so the way that I've done the product ID is that vendor ID is TG, but the Product ID is JN, so maybe I can do JC. What's JC in ASCII? ASCII to hex converter, let's just do that. JC. JC in hex is 4A43, perfect. JC. There we go. That should be good, let's remake it.
Good, good, good. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think I'm pretty much done. Let me just fix up some of this readme part here. TGR Jane CE Pontoporia V. I think this was a 1.2. Yep. Let me change that link really quick. It's no longer that one. It's actually this. Okay. Um, with F13 key. There we go. That should be it. That should be it in terms of the QMK firmware front. Let me just check in my code really quick. But I will definitely go and find someone who, who's who got a working TGR Jane V2 CE PCB and, and I'm gonna ask them to flash this on it. But my main concern is, if you guys remember, the very start of the stream, I did test that this PCB was working, but it was the act of flashing. It, it was the act of putting it into reset is what borked it which implies that there was something wrong with the bootloader to begin with. So anyone that I ask to do this is taking on some, some huge risk on themselves. So it's kind of like a hard situation, I guess. Uh, yeah, let, let me just check in my code. So the way that I've got this written is, is feature slash TGR Jane CE, which almost sounds like TGR Janice. <laughs> that might be the new TGR board. TGR Jane, no, TGR Janice. So yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Next up, next up, I need to jump into VIA and edit the corresponding files as well. So let me, let, let me just set that up really quick here. via repository and Rasha saying is you're on 0.11.x I'm assuming you're re referring to QMK um, pretty sure I did I did a full update earlier so I'm probably at the latest version 
Let's see, what we want to do is go to source, uh, TGR, where are you at? TGR, Jane V2CE, we'll copy and paste that and rename it Jane V2CE.json. See, what did I? Imagine thinking 0.11.x. Well, whatever it is, I, I am on the latest version. There. What? Can I just do QMK dash dash version, right? Or wait, is this just QMK CLI? Wait, what's going on? Oh, wait. I need to be in my. There we go. Isn't 0.11.x. Okay, so I'm assuming you're talking about QMK firmware. That's what that's what I'm assuming. But here we go, let's see. What do I want to check here? I want to check. Alright, I guess we could figure it out. Let's just do a fetch. Oh, well, I guess there's not much updates there. Um, let's see, what, what was I gonna do? I was going to look at... Oh yeah, I was gonna look at what I set What, what I set the product ID to, which was 4A43, okay. Drive says KB firmware is like zero point. Yeah, that's that's true. I, I remember looking them up last time and, and it was like so far out of date. It was pretty ridiculous. Oh, here we go. Get fetch tags update. Perfect, thank you. New tag, all right, yeah, looks like I was one tag behind. Okay, so um, I think the fast way to do this is just to take the existing JSON right here. And do, let's do this. <laughs> All right, here we go. We are going to upload the JSON. I believe it was in go that's it that's what I want oh there is a bug with the USB suspend init code from develop oh interesting okay it's good to know um, okay so what do I need to do here I need to add an extra key that means I have to shift this bit like that let me look at the TGR Jane CE. Okay. Um, okay, so it looks like that, that F13 is in line with the backspace. That's what needs to happen.
There we go. There we go. Does that look good? Yep, that looks good. Okay, and this one was... I guess... It was 6A, so 6A is 610. Here, let's just add that in. 610. There. There we go. Perfect, okay. Download JSON. And we just have to replace that, I believe. All right, it's been replaced. Let's see if VIA can detect it properly, or I guess not detect it, but if I can load it properly. It's a Jane V2CE. Looks good, looks good. We got that F13 key, perfect, okay. Now all that's left to do is to find someone who actually has one of these boards in good working condition and then we can we can move forward. Mm, I know this is a very expensive board of sorts, so I might make a post. Uh maybe on Reddit just to figure out what's like happening here, but Timmy, Timmy slash um, Frostfire is, is the only one I know who has a TDR Jane CE. I guess I could make a posting in some of the random Discord, such as KVD fans. Uh, uh, R slash mechanical keyboards and probably Top Clack and a few others. See who's got a TGR Jane V2 CE and who is willing to potentially risk borking their PCV. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what happens here. We'll see what happens here. Because like at this point I can't test it, so I can't click on I tested this 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 on actual hardware on, on, on QMK firmware and on VIA. So I can't I can't file a PR in good faith saying that I followed all of the all of the the requirements. Frostfire just sent a message to Uxy to see if he could send me a new PCB. Nice. Okay. To be fair though, to be fair, Frostfire, no matter how nice this PCB looks, I would still recommend that you use the Heine PCB. Like, for for example, um, Uxy sent me both the Alps and the regular version ported them into QMK and to VIA, everything works fine, tested it several times. I still use a Heine PCB simply because of the ESD protection, right? You know, you just, it's not something you can just overlook like that. Yeah. All right, folks, um, I think, I think I'm, I'm done for the night. This is pretty much as far as I can go. Um, the fact that I can't test it on an actual PCB is unfortunate. This is the whole reason why I asked Frostfire to send me a PCB so that I could test it, right? But now, but now I can't. Though to be fair, sending me an actual PCB allowed me to probe what that key was right there. That F13 key, so I guess that's the... That was the benefit of like sending me hardware. But uh, other than that, um... Kind of stuck here. Kind of stuck. Let's see, Fast Fast says, Yeah, I'll use my Heine. I don't have switches for the V2C yet, anyway. There we go. <laughs> there we go. All right, folks, we have come to the end of the stream. Um, 
nothing else to really talk about here. Uh, like I said, I'm I'm stuck on the next steps. Can't even file a PR at this point. So yeah, hopefully I'll provide updates. I'll let people know, or you guys can just watch watch QMK GitHub. You'll see me file a PR whenever I get to that. So yeah, I hope you guys have a good rest of your week. My next stream should be this Thursday. This Thursday, I've got bunch of switches to like lubricate. So check check it out. I'll po probably just be talking about, I don't know, probably upcoming group buys and stuff and chatting with people as the night goes on. Lubing is very boring. So I really appreciate if you guys show up I can chat with you guys while I do the most mundane and boring of, of like processes. So yeah, thanks guys. Uh, see you guys on Thursday. Good night.